Our nighttime routine starts latest quarter past seven and usually by this time I've already taken a bath and in my pajamas. So it's either we wake up together from a nap or he wakes up alone. But I take this time just to get some cuddles, some kisses and enjoy our time together. I then start closing the curtains. I take him from the bed and put him in the car seat so that he's able to watch me whilst I still make the bed. Sometimes family members come and take him, but regardless, I continue making the bed. I use a rolled up blanket for now because he's still tiny. And of course, I have to put his favorite toy in the middle. I prepare his bathing area beforehand, which is the caddy, changing mat, pajamas, and his towel with the changing mat underneath the towel. I then leave the fan to heat up the room for bath time. I'm now putting his bottles together and I love this drying rack. It's made things so simple. Oh, it's literally heaven sent. I prefer putting in the measured amount of water in the bottles so that when I want to prepare milk, I simply take from the small bottles with the measured scoops and put it into the bottle. I already have one bottle that's ready for his half past seven feed and I prepare the second bottle for his half past nine feed. I put in the required measurements of his formula in the small bottles because I no longer use them and the big bottles for feeding. It's now half past seven, latest 7.35 and I'm feeding him whilst watching TV. And now I'm burping him. <laughs> Once he has burped, usually at 8 o'clock, I then eat, have something to drink, wash the dishes, clean up, and take him to the bedroom for his bath time. I lightly brush his tongue with a bathing cloth for now and I give him a light soft massage just to get him relaxed. I then clothe him in a light jumpsuit and top off with a heavier jumpsuit for warmth just so that he's comfortable. Nearby I'll have his wife's diapers, body lotion and changing mat and before I leave him in the bedroom I keep the flashing light bulb on 
to distract him and I switch off the light so that I can go to the bathroom. I then get to the bathroom, wash, rinse and wipe his bathtub. It's time for his half past nine feet and this time it's a bit different because I'm talking softly, slow movements and eventually I dim the lights to let him know that it's time to sleep and whilst burping him I then watch some YouTube videos and of course slow shading happened but thankfully I've done all I've had to do so I can just relax and watch some videos check some emails, reply to some WhatsApp messages, and everything else. After burping him for 30 to 45 minutes, I then go to my favorite app, which is the White Noise Baby Sleep Sounds. I really love this app. It plays for as long as you want so it has the option to put a timer but i prefer the infinite playback which plays until you stop it and i just keep it playing from this time until half past 12 when he officially wakes up for the day i love that it has different sounds and I used to play the two that I'm showing you right now, but I realized that they are a bit harsh. So I just stuck to the rain sounds, the heartbeat sound and fan sound. After washing and wiping the bottles that I've just used, I refill the storage bottles and get started with my meal. Yes, I am limping. I hurt my foot, but I'll be fine. Right now, it's about making a meal that's quick and doesn't make noise. So unfortunately, this meal was just very simple, but as long as it gets me full, I'm happy. My favorite time is catch up time when I can catch up on my favorite shows. And lately it's been legacy. I am obsessed. Thanks to my sister, I'm, I'm obsessed. I then wash the dishes, take my favorite cup of whatever I'm drinking and go to bed. I usually sleep around 6, so I just lay in bed, recharge my body, and get ready. So, bye guys.